guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a millionaire romance recommendation video. I have never done this on my channel because I don't read a lot of millionaire romances. I read a lot like that they might be like really wealthy because they're like in the mafia or something, but I've never really seek out books with like super wealthy men. So I had to go and dig back into my reading history. Some of these books I read in like 2019 and don't remember too much, but I do know they're millionaire romances. I do have recent ones, like one I just read yesterday, I'm gonna include in this. So these are all like well wealthy men who get what they want and um, fall for our heroines. So I think they are all also with male millionaires. I don't feel like they do a lot of the female millionaire trope. If you know a female millionaire romance, let me know. I would love a recommendation, but I'll go ahead and get to the books. The first one I want to start with is the one I finished, and that is Praised by Sarah Kate. I just finished this this morning. I'm obsessed with this book. Our hero is a co-owner of a club, and he has gotten a lot of flack for it, like from family, but it's a safe place for people to explore things that they want out of a relationship with people and so how it starts is our heroine is dating his son and they break up and she needs her deposit back on their apartment that they were sharing and the son and the father are not talking because of the father's profession and so the son is like you go get the money from my dad so she goes and she knocks on the door and he thinks she is there to be his replacement sub and the sub dom scenario and so he's like get on your knees for me and she is like excuse me and he's like don't you want your money she thinks he's talking about her deposit and so she does and it quickly uh, turns into he realizes who she is and he freaks out and he's like oh my gosh like I'm so sorry he's very embarrassed and gives her her money she leaves but she's very intrigued by what she saw at his house and she's like what is he into what is this dynamic so she starts researching and she's she wants to be a part of that and our hero is the dad he decides to hire her as his actual secretary so that he can help her out because he knows she needs money and they end up working together and the more they work together the heroine wants to explore that side of a relationship and they do and it is so good but he's definitely super wealthy he owns this nightclub so definitely the wealthy hero trope but I really love their dynamic and how safe he made her feel and how he wanted her to be able to explore what she was interested in with him and what her limits were and I love that aspect about this book and of course it's forbidden because it's boyfriend's dad romance and it was so good. I love this. You need to check it out. Then we have The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. This one our hero is like co-owner of like a Disneyland so his grandfather passes away and divides up the the company into all the grandsons and leaves them with a condition though. So this hero has to work with the people who like make all the rides and stuff. I forget what their name is like and Dis Imagineers or something. That's what they are in Disney. I forget what they're called in this book. And he like looks at their proposals and he has to like do a huge project and get evaluated by this board and then he can get his inheritance. And so our heroine has actually this huge idea and she has been burned by an ex in the past who's stolen her ideas. So drunkenly she submits a new idea. He loves it and decides to like hire her on to these thinkers for the I'm, I don't know the terms these thinkers for the park and they end up working together and it's definitely hate to love grump sunshine and he when he starts like deciding he wants to court her he literally like flies her to meet her favorite author like in New York or something like he ha jet sets off with her and will do anything to make her smile and happy and I loved that and I really enjoy this romance I definitely love the grump sunshine aspect and I'm really excited for book two I've heard book two is even better but this one is one you should check out. Then I have one that I know a lot of people have read but I have to include it and that is There Is No Devil by Sophie Lark. This one he is a very very prestigious artist but he's also a serial killer. So him and another artist are like rivals and they're also rival serial killers. Our heroine is an artist but she hasn't broken into the art world yet. She's very much struggling and she goes through the art show and the hero's rival takes her and leaves her for him and he is like no thank you and leaves her there and she ends up escaping herself and they end up seeing each other again and entering this very tumultuous relationship and they really push each other's buttons and play around with each other and I really liked it. It's pretty dark and then the rival serial killer ends up being a villain of the story. It is a duet. I really enjoyed it. They just have too much time and money on their hands and they kill people but I really like their romance and how 
She really grew stronger in this book, and it was a lot of fun. So if you want to see a real killer one, check this one out. I have an oldie but a goodie, which is Brooklyn Air by Serena Bowen. I was reading this series when there were only, there's only one book out. The first three of the series were actually published with Berkeley. I love them all, and then I really wanted the couple in book four, and she decided to independently publish it, and this is the owner of the company, so he owns the hockey team. Obviously, he's super wealthy if he owns the hockey team. Our heroine is his assistant, and he's been really into her for a while, and it is caretaking because she actually goes out and slips on the ice, gets a concussion, and he has to take care of her. It is super cute. He's been pining after her for so long. He is like this tech genius guy owning this hockey team, and that's all I remember from the plot. I definitely would love to reread this soon, but it is such a good, not sports romance, but like in the hockey world, and I recommend this entire series. I think I've only read the first five. I think there's like ten now. There's a lot, but the first three I devoured when they were coming out traditionally, and then I was so excited, and it definitely lived up to my expectations because they were building this couple for so long and I just love how he was pretty humble because he like started out this like company right out of college and he was just this like geeky guy that got a lot of money so love the relationship and definitely like boss employee as well if you're interested in that. Then we have Trade Me by Courtney Milan which is another really old one and this one is our hero is super super wealthy. Our heroine is very much struggling and I think they were in class or something and they were talking about money and someone bet someone that he couldn't live like their life so they end up switching lives. He ends up trying to live her life with her money and in her situation in her house which is not that great and then she gets to live his life with his money in his house and they end up falling in love with each other and it is a new adult so they are in college when this happens I'm pretty sure but I remember really enjoying this and their dynamics and really understanding why she struggles so much and him understanding what it's like to live like that and I really enjoyed watching them. I'm pretty sure they're working on like a project as well together too. Like I said it's been a long time since I read this one but definitely a Courtney Milan contemporary that I enjoyed because I typically read her historicals, but she does have some contemporaries, and I enjoy this one. I had to throw in Kingmaker by Kennedy Ryan. This one, our hero, is from a wealthy family. His dad is like this huge oil guy, and so she, he actually meets our heroine because she is protesting a pipeline going through native lands, and his dad is there to check out his project, and the hero really hates what his father does, and so he ends up getting thrown in jail with her when they meet, but she's too young when they meet. He's a few years older. Nothing happens, but they keep on meeting throughout the process. He ends up owning this like huge eco-friendly green company. I don't remember what it is. He's very passionate about like the environment now, especially because of what his dad did and grows his whole business by himself and they go on a lot of things together. There ends up being stuff that has to do with like the presidential election as well and I love this book. I love this duet so much. You guys know I love this duet and they go on so many different adventures too. Like he goes to Antarctica, they end up going to another country. I don't remember what country it is and there's just a lot that happens and he definitely has a lot of money and I love this book. Then we have Maybe Next Time by Christina C. Jones. This one is a marriage in trouble and our hero literally kidnaps our heroine and forces her onto his yacht and forces them to work out their problems. And I really enjoy this one. I like how the hero kind of realized what a jerk he was being and that he's the one who caused a lot of drama in their relationship and he needs to be the one to fix it. So he forces the heroine to talk to him about it. It's very short. It's very fun. I enjoyed it. If you want a short marriage in trouble, which is one of my favorite tropes, check out Christina C. Jones, and I really like the rest of the series as well. Then we have Dangerous Temptation by Gianna Darling. This one is in a world of, like, very wealthy people, except for our heroine is really struggling. Her mother is not the best mom, but she still loves her, and she ends up dying. And so the heroine and her younger brother are taken in by her mom's current boyfriend, who is our hero, and he is dating her mom for a certain reason, and so he is trying to get something out of their family, and he is from a very wealthy, very dramatic family, so many feuding families, and there's a lot to this world, and so he ends up taking her to New York, I believe, and having them in his, like, very dark kind of crumbling castle full of misfits, which I really love, and she has to figure out the dynamics of this world and understand the feuding families and all that stuff, and they're falling in love in the process, but she doesn't know who to trust. I really enjoy this duet. I think it's a lot of fun, especially if you want a very, like, high society feuding families trying to figure out their secrets and why they hate each other and who she can trust. 
I think this is a lot of fun. Then another oldie is Tapping the Billionaire by Max Monroe. This one is just a fun time. I read a lot of Max Monroe a couple years ago and blew through their books. They're laugh out loud funny. I love them. I love their doctor series. In this one, our heroine and hero work together. The hero obviously is the owner, CEO of his company, and the heroine is in charge of like marketing or something. And they have worked together for two years, and now all of a sudden the hero sees her in a new light, and they slowly fall for each other. It's a very sweet, very fun romance, and that's all I remember about the plot. And looking at reviews to try to jog my memory. None of them could say anything else about the plot except for that. So if you want a very lighthearted, fun office romance with the CEO of a company, with someone who works for him, check out this book. I just really loved Max Monroe a few years ago and I need to get back into their books because they are the perfect like breath of fresh air, fun, contemporary that you can have a good time with. And the last one I have, I've talked about a ton so I left it for the end, but that is Carnal Urges by JT Geisinger. This one sticks out in my mind because the hero has a lot of money. He kidnaps the heroine because she started a mafia war. So he kidnaps her to try to get back at those other people. And so she's on his private jet, like flying somewhere, and he starts falling for her because she is infuriating. She is not scared whatsoever. She's just like, can I go home now? Like, what's going on? And does not like freak out or anything. He's like, who is this woman? Like, what the heck is happening? And so he ends up trying to sacrifice some things for her. And she's like, you're an idiot. Like, why do you think that I would want that? And it was so funny. And he literally runs this mafia, so he's definitely got a lot of money. And so it's more like mafia wealthy, not like other millionaire, like CEO of a business wealthy. But if you like the mafia romance aspect with a really fun, refreshing heroine, I would check this book out. And those are some millionaire romances that I've really enjoyed. Let me know if you have any recommendations for me that you think I'd like based on this list. Like I said, this is not a genre I really dabble into that much, but after reading Praise by Sarah Kay, I'm like, I could use some more. So let me know. That's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.